good morning. So we come for a night away at the Sunshine Coast today. And the first stop is the Australia Zoo. American alligator. Yeah. I'm getting his fang too because that one was fang one. True, yeah, that'd make sense, Sammy, wouldn't it? It'd be nice if they moved for you. This is Daisy. She can sometimes be a little bit cranky. Not her. <laughs> her. It's suspicious. Oh, it I'm not going to boys and their little matching besties today.
ranging in size from a small parrot all the way up to the highest. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Douglas. Now, Douglas is a black neck stork, or more commonly known as a jabberoo. Now, let's check him out as he enters the water. Those long skinny legs, they do look funny, but they're going to keep his body high and dry above the water, where he'll then use his stealth-like precision and that sword-like beak to stab out and grab his prey Hi everyone, this is my mate Callow, and she is this beautiful yellow-tailed black cockatoo. Now, not only can Callow fly from point to point, she can also fly from person to person. So we'd love to demonstrate this for all of you today, but we are going to need the help out there from someone in the audience. So, who wants to reach hello? Oh, come on, it's a big crowd. You guys can do better than that. Who wants to meet her? That's a bit better. There was a gentleman over this way that stood up first. You've got kind of a, yeah, that's a way you're out. The black hat and a blue shirt, that's it. Now, what I need you to do is reach into your wallet and pull me out a $5 note. Now, I can hear some laughter, but this note is really important, as Callow doesn't know this person, so we've trained her to fly to an everyday object, so it just so happens to be five bucks. How's it going? Got one? All right, so what I need you to do is fold that note in half for me, and in half again like a small rectangle, and hold it loosely in between two fingers, out to the side, that's it. Just my hand, that's it. So Callie can see this note and know exactly where to fly. Give 
and he can literally strike out from beneath the water surface and whack this fence in one go. So he can do those massive strikes. The most scary part about a crocodile though isn't his strike, it's those big teeth followed by that jaw pressure. He has more jaw pressure than any other animal on the planet, enough to crush bone in his mouth. If it bites the head of a cow or a feral pig next to the water's edge, he will literally crush to a couple of inches thick straight away. So he's amazing at doing those strikes from the water's edge, pretty much killing an animal on impact when he strikes out. There's another form of strike that he does do though, that hopefully will show you up here on the ramp. We call it the tail walk, and what he's going to do is he's going to launch himself vertically upwards straight up and out of the water. So this is not something we've taught Casper within captivity. Crocodiles will do this literally as soon as they hatch out of their egg. They're super tiny, they're about 15 centimetres long. Pretty much everything wants to eat a baby crocodile, so they're hiding out in the reeds along the banks, trying to hide away from those big predators, and they start to tail walk things like insects, small reptiles, and they do it until they're this size and even bigger, getting over half their body length straight up and out of the water. So you can imagine he's weighing 350 kilos, he's picking up all that mass just by that big strong tail behind him. So strike from the tip of his nose to the base of his tail, that's where he gets all his power from. You can see, like Nero said, he's planting those big feet. There you go. Strike right in the base of his tail. Up here, mate. Good KFC, come on. You can already see just how hesitant he is coming out of land, because that is honestly flat out. You come on. Up here. Stop looking at me like that. That is gay. Give it up for him, guys. He's been awesome. Been a bit drizzly today, but it's blooming warm still. Right what temperature is it, Samuel? Um, it is 25 degrees. 25? Nice. Mm. Nearly 26. Nearly 26. So the weatherman says, Samuel, I don't care what the weatherman says when the weatherman says it's raining. Yes. See the rhinos, look. I'm going to look shallow. Very they, oh yeah, they're Rhinos. Look at them, they're in like water. Oh no! Oh, it's come to see us, Sonia. Yeah, Hey Mickey, what time is it? It's 2.56. Oh. There they are, the kangaroos, taking shelter, having some downtime. Look at that one. The people have been throwing food and they haven't even touched it. Oh, it's been a tough day. Comes Mr. Wombat. 
ये बुरी वाले हैं ना खाली बे हाँ मैं तो ना खूब पक रहा है ये सब कुछ बच्चा तो बाप रहा है बिल्कुल तो बाप रहा है अच्छा मैं तो बोलो मैं इधर देखो तो ये खड़ी करा कर रहा है Hey gang, so we've just arrived at our apartment in Caloundra in the Sunshine Coast where we're staying for one night. We've just got in from visiting the Australia Zoo. Crikey, it was good. So we're gonna just gonna pan you around. Nice little apartment. And this is the best bit. This is the best bit out here. Not them two. Rude. <laughs> Look at that beach view. Right, so Australia Zoo. What are we going to give it out of ten, Georgia? Nine. Nine? Oh, good score. What was your highlight? Uh, crocodiles. Crocodiles? Yeah. Crocodile ditties? Samuel, score? Mama, score? Um, probably an eight. Eight? Oh, it was a nine at one point. I know, I've changed my mind. Oh, what happened? The rain as well. No, I just, oh, it was a nice zoo. I'm not big on zoos, um, but I wanted to experience this one because of the whole Steve Irwin connection. And it was a nice zoo. Um, so for that reason, I'm giving it eight. I shouldn't really have to explain it. Oh, OK, yeah. fair enough. Well, I'll give it a nine, I think. Do I need to explain? No. Oh, yeah, I think we I will. Need, well, yeah, let's let's, let's let's spin the yarn. No, I'd say a nine. It was a nicely laid out zoo. Hey guys, forgot to uh, mention I got myself a little memento from the uh, Australia Zoo. Check this bad boy out. Little stubby cooler. The crocodile hunter himself. Just the job. <laughs>